right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got, uh, it says the tension in the cable is 100 newton. Find the mass of the ball. First thing we want to do is define the system. We want to write down what we know. What do we know? The force of tension on the ball by the cable equals 100 newtons. What else do we know? Oh, what's the acceleration? What's the acceleration? Zero meters per second squared. What's our net force? Zero newtons. Do we know anything else? What are we being asked to find? To find the mass of the ball. Excellent. Let's draw a force diagram. Um, once again, our system is what? The ball, and we'll define that with our center of mass. What forces are acting on the ball? Gravity, gravity going which way? No. Name it. Force gravity on the ball by the Earth. Good job. What other forces? Force normal. Going which way? Upward. Is the ball on a surface? No, no. force tension. Do you ac accept that friendly amendment? Yeah. Force of tension on the ball by the cable. Uh, what direction do you want to make positive? Up. Up is positive, so down is negative. We know that the net force is zero, so what do we know about relative size? It's zero. So you, oh, no, it's zero. They are equal. The force of tension has to be the same size as the force of gravity. Which of these things can we calculate? The force of tension or the force of, of gravity? The force of gravity. Force of gravity on the ball by the earth. How do we do that? What formula should we use? Force of gravity uh, equals all, uh, gravity. Gravitational field strength constant on the earth times uh, ten. Yes. times the mass of the ball, right? Are we cool on this? Do we know the gravitational field strength constant on the earth? Yeah. Everybody, what is it? 9.81. 9.81. Newtons per kilogram. Would anybody like to... What? Aha! Uh -huh. Juan just noticed that... Force of gravity is pulling in a negative direction, so the gravitational field strength constant also pulls in a negative direction. Times the mass of, uh-oh, did they give us the mass of the ball? Yes, 100. Ah, is that the mass of the ball? No, you have to calculate, you have to calculate it to... Uh, but we don't, have the, we don't have the mass of the ball. We also don't have the weight of the ball. Should we give up then? No. no. We shouldn't? No. Is there a way for us to figure out what either the weight of the ball is or the mass of the ball another way? Yeah. Yes, sir? Uh, I think it's, um, I think it's, uh, FG equals GE times M, but you plus M on both sides, I think. So that's, you came up with the equation that weight is the gravitational field strength constant times the mass. We are already considering that. That's an important formula we need. Oh, uh, never mind. Right. the force of tension is equal to the force of gravity. Ah, the idea that the net force really means the... Acceleration. Oh, sum of all. The sum of the forces. So Vincent is suggesting since we know the, the force of tension is 100 newtons, we can use that conceptually to figure out the weight, right? And mathematically, we can back it up this way, that the force, the net force is the sum of the forces, so force of tension on the ball by the cable, plus the force of gravity on the ball by the earth. Are you guys cool with that? The net force is equal to the sum of those two forces? Yes. Matthew Bloom, what is the net force for this problem? Um, isn't it the force of gravity? Zero. Oh, it is zero, right? Because it's remaining at rest. Madison, do we know the net, the force of tension on this on this ball? Yeah. How much? One hundred newtons. newtons. Is that positive or negative? It is positive. And what we're trying to find is the force of gravity on the ball by the Earth. Are we all cool with that? So what do we need to do to both sides to get force of gravity on the ball by the earth by itself? Right. So we subtract 100 newtons from both sides, and now we've got the weight of the ball, the force of gravity on the ball by the earth, equals negative 100 newtons. Now we have to be careful with that. Where do we plug that in in this equation we have on the right side? 
force of gravity. The force of gravity on the ball by the Earth. Now can we go about solving for mass? Yeah. What do we have to do to both sides? Uh, divide. Somebody better have a calculator out. We're going to need that soon. Divide both sides by what? Negative 9.81 newtons per kilogram. And so these cancel out over here. And now we've got mass equals 100 divided by 9.81 is? So about 10.2. Yeah. And that's Newtons cancel out. So you got one over one over kilograms, which is just one over is just kilograms. Ten point two kilograms. Are we cool with that? And is that our final answer? Yes. That's what we're asked to find.